ugly bad gay. What's up, you legend? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Q and a. A lot of great questions. So let's just get into it. First question Who was your favorite wrestler? Growing up in the WWE, um, Hulk Hogan, my favorite. Next question. How many wins would a third up your bellies have this season? I'm going to say 60. Next question. Will the third up your flyers, do you think the third up your flyers will make the playoffs this season? I don't. To be honest, I hope so. So, I'm saying yes. Next question. Is there... Super League... Is he... Go to... Is the new late soccer league going to... The new... League going to... The first... No, I don't think it will. Just one leg, the new leg that they're starting. I didn't even know about this. So I don't think it will. Next question. Did Pat Myers have the best hair on the Philadelphia in the Philadelphia in Philadelphia kick history? Saying so yeah, because Pat, my boy, my coach growing up, I love him. We still keep in touch. So yes. Next question. What are your thoughts on the new Super League? I I just I do not know anything about this, so I don't have no thoughts. That was um next question. What has inspired you to keep on inspiring others? That's a great question. I never thought about it, but I guess just the way that I keep on fighting, like, like even if I'm having a bad day, I still I don't, I don't let anybody know, so I guess just I don't know how to explain it. I guess just Keeping good vibes, you know? Um, next question. Who is your favorite English Premier League team and why? Woo! Liverpool, because they're always good, and because they have Mo Salah, and Mo Salah, my favorite player in English Premier League. Next question. Well, Bryce Harper hit 30 and won this season. I hope so. Next question. How long did you do Special Olympics? I did Special Olympics for 20 years. If you guys who did not know that. I competed in every sport. Soccer, floor hockey. Volleyball, bocce, basketball, bowling, name it, I probably did it. The only sports I do, two sports I did not do were swimming and track and field. I, I never could do that. Number 10. Woo! Where? Would you like to be famous? I would love to be famous, to be honest, but... Next thing... Next question. If you could change what thing... that... has happened to you, what would it be? Hmm... That's a good question. I never really thought about it, anything, but if I had to think about it, what happened to me? Oh, pop, um, 
messing up my knees. Too bad. Right, messing up my knees. Cap, many caps. There's okay to many caps. I would never have done that. If that's that's what I would have changed. The next question. Have you ever been in the snow? Yes. I don't even know, I can't even count how many times I've been in the snow. But I played football when I was little. Played football in the snow. We did. Name it. We, I mean, my buddies did it. Do you still? Have you, uh, you still have your uh, childhood teddy bear? Mm. No, I do not. His name was, uh, Christopher, but I do not have him anymore. Who is your favorite fighter in the UFC? I got a couple, but Miranda Maverick. I'll give you four. Miranda Maverick. Um. Eddie Alvarez. Chris Dawkins and Kyle Dawkins. Chris and Kyle are both brothers. Yes, both of them. Eddie Alvarez and Miranda Maverick. The three. The three. Chris, Eddie, and. Kind of off of my Philadelphia. Next question. What? Who? Your favorite va favorite vacation spot? Hmm. Let's see. I've been to Aruba, Mexico, Canada, Florida. Out of the four, it would probably, I would probably have to say Me Mexico because I would not have to stay with my family. I was there with some of my friends. We were there for a wedding, so yes, Mexico. And it was nice. When I went there, it was in March. So Philly, when I left for Philly, it was cold. But when we got to Mexico, it was so, like, so nice. Next question. If you could pick any actor to star or actress to star in a movie, or based on your life, who would it be? Adam Stanley for sure. I'm a big Adam Stanley fan, so yes. The next question. Who has the best cheese steaks? Okay. I don't, I'm, I'm one of the guys who do not like, like, chopped up. So I don't go to Paris with Gino's that much, but... So I'm going to go with Cafe Carmelo's. It's somewhere, it's in, an, it's in Northeast Philly. I love them. Two sticks are so big, like, me and my friend went the one time we had to split them. They had to split it, so. Next question, what made you get into coaching? That is a very good question. Well, what made me get into coaching was, I was, uh, I knew that my playing career was coming to an end. And I was, um, I was thinking, I'm like, wait, wait, why, because, wait, should I try to become a coach? And when I, I was talking to my buddy about it, my best friend, and he's like, dude, he's like, yeah, you should definitely do it. He said, give me a couple of weeks. He knew a couple of people. He said, give me a couple of weeks. And I will uh, talk to some of them and see if can start help them out. Two days later, he called me. 
Yeah, my boss, dude, she just got the job. Wait, that week. Wait. She just got the job a couple weeks before. She was talking to my buddy, and she's like, Yeah, I would love to have them on my staff. I've been doing uh, so that's how I got my coaching job. But I always wanted to become a coach, so. What made me become a coach, I guess? Just the love of the game, you know. Uh, I got a couple more questions. There's a couple more that uh, I know. I don't think I ever and ever is answered. What was the biggest decision that you had to make as a coach? Oh, that's a that's a uh, that's a hard one. Oh, I remember now. This girl, we were my old friend. This girl, Blue Rock. She was she was a great player, and uh, we had a penalty kick on her senior day, and she she was forty. She had forty nine goals going before that, and so my boss was like, "Oh no, she somebody else is gonna take it." Me and my boss, me and uh, one of the, uh, her dad, my boss's dad, one of the other assistant coaches, and I was like, in that play, take the shot, 50 goals. Probably it's going to be easy, 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 uh, easy 50. So she did, we, we, so my boss and my boss, that's me and her dad, and uh, she did it, she got 50. Next question. Um, will you ever have your best friends in a video? Mm. That's or any of your friends in a video. Yes, I. I've been planning to do that. Like once every, like once COVID goes away, I'm try. That's what I'll probably try to do. Try to get my friend, some of my friends in this, some of my videos. Next question. How did you and your best friend meet? Mm. That's a tough one because I got four best friends. I can tell you how we all met. But two of the guys, two of my buddies, my buddy Brian, my buddy Joe, we, grew, we all grew up in the same neighborhood. Me, me and Joe actually grew up with five houses away from each other. And the funny thing was, his mom and my mom were best friends in high school, in grade school. My best friend, Mary Kate. Um, just, like, for play soccer, we played a couple, like, teams together growing up. So, yeah, we played on this one co-ed team, and that's how we became like, really close. And then my friend Erin. I met her, we became best friends, like, I was coaching, and she was, like, one of the very first ones to, like, walk, like, talk to me, and she, like, welcomed me with, like, open arms, you know? She said, if you ever need anything, let me know, you know what I mean? Like, that kind of things. So that's what, that's how me and my friend Aaron met from coaching. From me coaching her. Uh, I got a couple more. There's uh, one. So one question. Uh, two more. I'll, I'll give you four more questions, all right? Um, what is your favorite show that you have been watching? After Ben was Ben watching the uh, uh, Big Shot, Mighty and Mighty Duck, Dave Changer, both for and um, Disney Plus, both of them, both of them are very good shows. Next question: What's your biggest fear? Well, dying, of course, probably everybody's right. And hospitals, I hate. I hate. Going in the hospitals, especially if I have to stay overnight, I hate it. 
Next question. Now that, like, would you ever box in this, like, a uh, celebrity thing? Like, now that they're having, like, boxes and YouTubers do it? No, I would not. But what I would like to do, what I would like to see people, uh, like, celebrities and YouTubers, like, play soccer together or against each other, you know? I got a couple more questions. Um,. What's your favorite movie of all time? Mm. Bill Madison. Actually, any, any Adam Sandler movie. He's my favorite actor. Next question. Have you ever been suspended from school or from coaching? No. I have never been suspended school or from coaching. One time I got in trouble at time at school, I think it oh, I was pulled. I missed my some girl on, on a bus. And I pulled her hair and I got in trouble. And I never got suspended. Um and the very last question I um that I've been getting a lot is Do you plan on Do you plan on um how long do you plan on coaching? Be honest, I plan on coaching to the day I die. And then no wait. And then the other question I got is how long do you plan on doing YouTube? I plan on doing YouTube probably to I thought to the day I die, you know. Hope you guys like this video. If you guys did, you guys can give this video a big thumbs up. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell everybody what about my channel. Quit my channel, it's growing by the day. Also, let me know what other videos. Channel just tags. You guys want to do? It'll be my honor to do that for you. And I'm working on getting people to interview. Hope to do that soon. Until next time. As always, be kind to one another, love one another, take care of one another, stay hydrated, everybody, and this is Steve the Legend, trying to walk I am out of here. Peace.